everyone, it's Lisa Glance here. I'm just going to show you how to draw a cute little miniature schnauzer. I'm just going to show you some basic shapes that you can use to create the little pooch and hopefully you can follow along. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and created a document in Procreate. You can use any um, application that you like. You can even use pencil and paper, pen and paper, or anything that you prefer. Okay, first we're going to start with kind of like a a dome shape. It almost looks like a <laughs> like a beacon. And then we're going to add a rectangle shape. And you'll notice that I've just kind of overlapped it on either side. And then just to the top, above the beacon, and slightly to the left and right, we're going to add the ears. And again, you'll notice it's just slightly off the, the beacon shape. And they're just triangle shapes. Nothing too fancy. And we're just doing rough sketches at this point. Okay, and now the next shape for the body is basically like a cone that's kind of missing its tip. And then we're just going to draw two circles either side. Those will be your back legs. And then I just want a reference for the front legs, which are going to come down slightly beyond the back legs. And then for those front paws, we're just going to draw two ovals. And those are just our rough reference. And then I'm going to create a new layer turn the opacity down so it's not so sharp. If you're using pencil and paper, you can um, either create a, a, a new sort of uh, paper over your one, um, the one that you're working on, or you can use a light box, or you can use tracing paper. And then I'm just gonna make sure I'm on the right pencil. Let's choose that guy. And now we're just very quickly going to add in some detail. I like using this pencil because it kind of gives it a really rough, grungy sort of look. And maybe even a little bit of hair. <laughs> and I'm just bringing it in slightly towards the nose area. And now we're going to draw a really nice, big, cute nose. And two little eyes and then as you know with the schnauzer they have lots of like a big sort of I call it a box area <laughs> with their hair that comes down like that and yeah you can be really loose with your line work and we're just gonna bring it down and I'm gonna add this sort of like eyebrow area and then some furry legs and they tend to have these really furry sort of um, paws and they always seem to be quite a bit larger <laughs> almost too large for them for their little bodies And his little back legs, because he's kind of sitting. And just a few little kind of hairs here in front, his little chest. And I'm just finishing it off with some loose brush strokes. I'm going to move over to a different pencil because I just want to apply some shading. And we can even give him a little collar. And you'll notice just with quick 
strokes of your pencil you're going to create some shading lines just for some variation and depth nothing too fancy I'm just going to turn my reference layer off and I think the little guy's done that's it hope you enjoyed that happy creating <laughs>